Hi, fourth grade. I hope you're having a great day. I'm here to give you directions for today, Thursday in science class, and tomorrow, Friday in science class. So you'll have two days to complete this, but it must be completed. The substitute will be collecting it at the end, and it will be one of your science grades, so please take it seriously. I know you will, though. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to Google Classroom and find your science classroom. I'm going to click Rockwell Science as an example, but you click your science classroom. Next, up here in the Classwork tab, you'll click that, and you're going to find the heading that says Substitute. Hopefully you're already watching this video, which is linked here, that says Watch This First. Next, you're going to click the Wonderopolis link. If you've never used Wonderopolis, it's an amazing website full of some just random fun facts. When you scroll down, it says Wonders with Charlie, and there are many, many videos here. You're going to choose whatever video on this page that you would like. You can choose any one that you want. So maybe I want to learn why can't penguins fly. So I'll click that one. You can click whatever one you want. And then after that, I am going to, I'm going to get out my wonder of the day paper. And at the top, I'm going to write the wonder of the day number here. So I'll show you where that is. And my wonder of the day question, which is why can't penguins fly? So I'll write that entire question there. You can copy it right from my computer screen. Then I have two sections here and I can write anything I already know about the topic. Do I already know anything about penguins or why birds can't fly? I'm going to fill those out before I ever read the article. So before you read it, you have three things, the number of the day, the question of the day, and what do you already know about the topic? Once you do that, then you can go back to the article. So after I've written the wonder of the day, number 795 and why can't penguins fly, I have a couple jobs on my computer. There are some videos here. You can watch this video. You can look at the pictures. And then there's an article here for you to either read. You can sit and read it yourself. Or if you have your headphones plugged in, you can click the word listen at the top and it will read the article to you. It's completely up to you if you want to read it yourself or if you want to click that listen button and have it read to you. Once you've finished reading the article, you have to do the rest of your Wonderopolis paper. So underneath where you made your predictions about what you already know about this topic or about anything that you already know, it tells you to scroll over a wonder word from the wonder words box and you need to write the word and its definition. And notice that you need to do that twice. You have two different boxes here. So you'll need to find two vocab words and write their definitions. I'll show you where to find that. If you scroll down in your article here, over on the side are all of these wonder words. You can either hover over them here or hover over them in the article. Your job is to pick two. So if I pick flightless, I would write the word flightless and then I would write the definition unable to fly. If I'm looking at the word hemisphere, I would write the word hemisphere and write that big long definition. You're just choosing any two words that you want. You don't even have to click on the word, just hover your mouse over. So after you read the article, find two different words. Then on the back of your paper, you have a couple other jobs. Up here in this big blank box, it says, draw and colorfully illustrate something you learned about the wonder of the day. So whatever you read, if I was reading about penguins, I would draw something about why penguins can't fly. And then over here, it says, write a caption in the box to explain your illustration. So then I would write one sentence over here to describe my illustration. So it's kind of like giving a summary of the article, but just using a picture and one sentence. And then next it says, write down something new you learned. So you're going to write one or two sentences about something you learned about the article. And don't just write, I learned that penguins can't fly. We know that that's what the article is going to be about. Why can't penguins fly? What's something that you learned by reading the article, not just by reading the title of the article? So you'll write a couple sentences down at the bottom. So again, you're going to first Write the number, the wonder of the day number, the question, and what you already know about the topic. Then you will read the article or listen to the article and watch any videos. 
find two wonder words in their definitions in that box, draw a picture, and write a sentence explaining your picture, and write a little summary about something you learned. Remember, you have two days to do this, today and tomorrow. For a bonus point and to prove to me that you watched this video, I want you to color this sun purple. So if you watch this video and you want a bonus point on this assignment, I'm going to look for your sun on the first page under your name for that sun to be colored purple. Your illustration should also be colored. It does say that. You can find the colored pencils or crayons over on table seven if you need them, okay? Bonus points, color that sun purple. Once you finish both pages, whether that's Thursday or Friday, you'll give this to the substitute wherever he or she wants you to turn it in. And then your job is to get on Moby Max and click Science. I'll have some assignments there for you, especially if you didn't finish them in class on Wednesday. Good luck, fourth grade. I look forward to seeing you again on Monday and hearing all about what you learned on Wonderopolis. Have a great weekend.